Hi YouTube, it's me Vicky. How are you guys doing? So today I wanted to talk about an issue that I'm having with my natural hair. As you can see my topic, oh my god, natural hair breakage issue. Yes, oh my god. Let me tell you guys what I did. Okay, so where do I begin? Okay, I believe two weeks ago, uh, one of my Facebook friends posted a video of this beautiful natural hair lady who did a braid out and she was showing how she got this beautiful curly braid out and she, what she used was the Gorilla Snot Gel, Eco Styler Gel and some coconut oil. Okay? So when I saw her hair I was mesmerized and I was like, wow, that looks great. I want to try it. So, I have all these equipment at home. I said, why not? Now, the thing about the Gorilla Snot thing gel is, I made a video recently and I was talking about, I was doing a review on it, and I was talking about how great it is for my edges, but I did mention that I don't know if I would want to use it on my hair because it's a sticky consistency, so I don't think that would work well with my hair. Now, I knew this, but when I saw this young lady's video, I was totally motivated and I was inspired so I went ahead and I tried it and that was the biggest mistake that I could have ever done I tried exactly what she did and you know what as I'm applying I'm noticing that my hair is totally shedding and it wasn't shedding it was coming out like the heck a lot of it so I got scared. So you know what I did? I washed my hair out really quick. Did a co-wash. Did shampoo. Did I co-wash? Did I shampoo? Did I did I put conditioner again? Then I said this is not enough. So I went ahead and decided to do a Mayo deep conditioning treatment. That's the reason there's a video on here. I will attach it on the link. I made the deep deep conditioning treatment because I'm thinking maybe it's the protein. I need more protein for my hair. But I already knew what it was because I also put the. Gorilla Snot Gel on my youngest daughter's hair as well. And she too had the same issue that I was having. Her hair was coming out as well. I was like, oh my God, what the heck? So I literally was in tears because I was like, oh my God, I broke my daughter's hair. I'm breaking my hair, what the hell? The reason why I tried it on both our hairs because number one, I saw the video and I tried it on my oldest son's hair. His hair loves it. Okay, so I said, okay, it works on his hair. Maybe it would work on my daughter's hair and myself. Mm -mm. <sighs> so I always say this. When I, make, when I made my Blue Magic video, I have a couple of videos talking about Blue Magic, Castle Oil. I'm talking about all these great things. And I'm saying to Pete, I always say, what works for one person may or may not work for the other. And this is a very good example to not try everything that you see because it's not everything that's going to work for you. So I totally messed up my hair. Right now I'm rocking a bun. Now let me show you guys the Gorilla Snot Gel for those of you who do not know what that is. This is it right here. I will attach a video of me talking about it on the link below. And it's great for to lay down my edges. Oh my god, the baby hair, it, it will definitely lay it. I love it for that. And I also mentioned that it does leave a little white flake, but you have to use it with some type of oil immediately after and don't put too much because that's how you would get that flaky look. But it works for me there. Thank God I didn't take that off. But I mentioned in the video also not to put it, I, would, I don't feel comfortable wearing this again because of the consistency. It's very sticky. And I was absolutely right. I should have went with my gut on this one, but I just was like, let me give it the benefit of the doubt. Maybe it's going to work. So, again, I did the deep conditioning treatment. That was the best thing that I could have done. Now, what I am going to do next week, okay, I noticed. So, I want to tell you guys what I did to get my hair back on track. So, never again will I use this on my entire hair, but I will keep using it on my edges for sure. Now, what I, what I, have, what I did do was the deep conditioning treatment that was a good using, consisting of the mayo. I will attach that on the link below as well. That's the best conditioner for protein, for issues with your hair. Now, I, 
I will also do another deep conditioning treatment to my hair consisting of the coconut milk. This is great for breakage, for hair issue, for thin hair, hair loss, to help with the growth of your hair, this is the way to go. So because I've recently had this issue with all my hair coming out, I have to use this deep conditioning treatment. I will do this deep conditioning treatment this weekend again, because I just did one last weekend, I'm going to do this one as well. The one for the mayo is one thing, but this one is my favorite because it really helps with growth, manageability, with any kind of issues that you have, this is the way to go. And I will also use my Blue Magic and Castor Oil to grease my scalp. I already started and I'm already starting to notice that my hair is getting back to the way it was. It's getting full again. Okay, so it's, it is what it is. I lost the hair previously, but it's okay. With the Blue Magic and this, now I'm, I was, I did mention that I used the Jamaican Black Castor Oil. I ran out of it, so now I'm using this. It's the same thing. Castor Oil is Castor Oil. It has the same consistency, but I'm using these two. And I will buy the Black Jamaican Castor, Jamaican Black Castor Oil when I get a chance. But yeah, so these two, I will be using this. Like I already started, I grease my hair two, two times a week. Grease, massage, protective style. That's it. The moral of this video is I want to share with you guys, I'm sharing this with you guys just to let you guys know that please be careful with what you see people use on their hair. Make sure that it's going to work for your hair. Now the thing is how are you supposed to know it works for your hair without trying it, right? So you have to be careful. In my opinion, Gorilla Snot Gel is not a good idea to put on your hair. But if you want to use it for baby hair to lay down your edges, it's perfect. I give it two thumbs up. But when it comes to putting on your hair, thumbs down. The reason why I thumbs it down because it's like, it's not good for my hair. Everybody's different. Now the thing I have to, to remember is whenever you see, there's a, there's a big community of natural hair ladies. All of our hairs are so different. And what happens is some people have curly hair, tightly coiled hair, different textured difference the textures of our hairs are different with we're all individuals what that's why certain things you put in your hair you see some ladies they put certain things in their hair their hair just like totally curls up some people's hair just stays in that coily state you know everybody's hair is different so that's why this young lady's hair was like really it, it was really you know defined and there's nothing like my hair but i figured why not try it just you know I, I, I wasn't, how was I supposed to know it? I didn't really put a lot of the eco, not eco side, but a lot of the Gorilla Snot Gel. So again, it is what it is. There's nothing I could do about it. I saw that it was a problem. I washed my hair out immediately. I'm doing all these treatments and I definitely believe I will be back on track. It's already starting. My hair's uh, started feeling thin, but it's starting to get thick again. It's starting to get back to the way that it was. So right now I'm at a setback. It is what it is. Natural hair, you get at a setback, your hair breaks, it comes back. You just have to be very careful what it is that you put in your hair. You know, you know, I prefer natural products only on my hair. Like me, I'm going to stick to what I know best. Blue Magic, Castor Oil, Coconut Milk Deep Conditioning Treatment, Mayo Deep Conditioning Treatment, Co-Washing mostly, and if I do shampoo, I have to make sure that harsh chemicals in it because my hair is very sensitive. And, and what happened with my hair, when my hair gets too dry, that's what I knew was so dry. I was like, it's, this is not my hair, it's too dry. When it's that dry, it breaks. And that's exactly what happened, okay? So that being said, guys, take care. Uh, have a great Tuesday. I'll see you guys next time, okay? Take care. Bye-bye.